I'm a trained scientist. I graduated um, from Mel the University of Melbourne uh, with major studies in biochemistry and pharmacology. I was located at the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre for 13 years in, in the laboratory of Professor Roger Martin. Um, and after that I started my own laboratory, the Epigenomic Medicine Laboratory, which is about eight years old now. And with health and wellness with olives and olive oil, there's, uh, again, there's two, two different areas that we can, we can look at. The first one, what we really need is a large scale human clinical studies. There are some clinical studies that are, that are out there now, but what we need is we need clinical trials in specific disease processes. So clinical trials, for example, in type 2 diabetes or in cardiovascular disease, looking at consumption of olive oil and how it actually helps in that disease. So large scale clinical trials. That's one area. The other area is to look at precise mechanisms of action, and that's where our lab focuses. He's looking at precisely which components of the olive oil and exactly how they work at the molecular level. And that way there is we can understand exactly how the different components work and then we can either do two things. We could either add those things back into the olive oil in order to make, make the olive oil even healthier or we can um, try to make pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical grade compounds, like individual compounds that we can then give to people like extra, from different extracts. So I think they're the main two uh, areas of research that we can pursue. But I think even now, the current knowledge that we have today, I think that's enough to tell people that olive oil is really, really healthy and they should be consuming it as part of a normal Mediterranean diet on a daily basis.